everyone. Whoops, I kind of forgot something. Whoops. This is my new little live thing here. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Heather Havenwood. Oh, okay. See, it's not even working now. <laughs> I apologize. I was going to do this and then it didn't work. Hi, everyone. This is Heather Havenwood. Um, my little sticky thing isn't working, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this interview. I might have to finish it. Let's see. Let's hope that works, shall we? Hopefully it doesn't stick. Hi, hey everyone. I have the Heather Haywood. So uh, I just got off an interview um, with a webinar, Tildy. She's amazing. And I got asked this question. That It's a really great question. And I don't know if you all know this about me, um, but from starting in 2000, 2001, I started traveling the country doing seminars and events. And I did everything from huge events, three and 400 people, so one, one time we have a thousand, all the way down to small little masterminds, 10 people, 15 people. And I produced, spoke at, um, created, promoted, put butts in seats, um, ran the event, everything in between. And you might be wondering, what does it have to do with today? Nowadays, we have these things called VSLs, video sales letters. Uh, we don't have events as much. But honestly, you learn more about sales in a live presentation than you do in a VSL. So I wanted to share this with you and how I got into this business, just if you don't know the story, I saw an infomercial one day. I was in corporate America. I did very well. And then I got fired at the top of my game. I was actually number one in sales and then I got fired and it was very confusing to me. And so I took a, day, took a couple months off and one day I saw this infomercial and it says something like this, like, do you want to own your life? Do you want to control your destiny? Do you want to make your own money? And of course I was very excited to say yes. And uh, so I wrote down the little name and information of the hotel. I had to be there at one o'clock the next day. And I show up at this at this live event where there's a guy in the front of the room talking about making money and entrepreneurship. And I was like 26 at the time. And I didn't know anything about it. I had never in my life been an entrepreneur. I really didn't have family that was entrepreneur. My dad was an entrepreneur, but it wasn't ingrained in me to be an entrepreneur. I wasn't told out of college, go be an entrepreneur. I was told out of college, go get a job. So here I am in this seminar room and this guy is saying, Hey, do you want to you know, own your business? We're going to teach you how to make your own business and buying and selling notes. All you do is you give us $3,000 and go to this seminar and we'll teach you how to do it. So I said, okay, I'll do it. Right. But I didn't have $3,000. And, but the guy said, however, just today only your spouse can come for a thousand. And I nudged the guy next to me, a total stranger. And I said, hey, can I be your spouse? He's like, sure. So we go to the back of the room and I fill out the form, different last name, different address, different everything. And I tell him I'm his spouse. And they, of course, knew I was lying. And I gave them my credit card for $1,000. And then the next week I went to a three-day seminar where I was taught how to buy and sell um, information market and how to buy, how to, sorry, how to buy and sell notes. And I went to the three day event. My spouse never showed up. I swear to God, to this day, I don't know who the guy is. I don't know if his name is John, Joe, Bear. <laughs> I don't know. So I go to this event and the speaker kind of takes an interest in me and he's like, what's your deal? You're young, you're female. What are you doing here? And I tell him my story about how I was in corporate America for four years and I was number one in the country at 10,000 reps. And then I was fired after I got my little award. They're like, congratulations, you're fired. And I didn't understand. So he's like, why don't you come travel with us? So I started traveling the country for seven years out of a suitcase every week, a different city. I went to Chicago, New York, Peoria, Illinois, wherever that is, um, Seattle, Denver. And we would go to a city and we would be there for four days. And we would oh, actually three days, like three and a half. And we would do six presentations in three days, back to back to back to back. And honestly, if we did not sell a certain percentage, we ate ramen noodles that night or we ate crackers from the airplane in our hotel room. If we did well, we got to go to Ruth's Chris and have a great steak at the hotel. But honestly, we didn't make money unless the company made money. And I remember the company would told us, they said, 
I work for the large, one of the largest seminar companies in the country. They said, when you walk into a city, we've already spent at least a hundred thousand, if not if not two hundred thousand dollars in media buy already before you get there. So if you guys can just break even for us, we would be really appreciated. I'm like, are you gonna be kidding me? But they did. Like Chicago, they dropped it like two hundred thousand dollars, and they would do infomercials, radio, and big huge ads in the newspaper, like the big full page. And our job was to break even. And to break even, we had to do about 12% closing ratio. That was just to, to be able to not even make a dollar, like barely cover the expenses. And um, I learned quickly the art of communication, the art of sales, the art of asking for the money, the art of saying, you really want this. Just go ahead and sign. Like you want this. You want this, don't you? You want a new life, don't you? Just, just sign. I mean, I learned how to ask for the money and take people's credit cards and run it for $6,000 and $8,000. I mean, this was boggled to me before this in my life. And I, so that's what I did for seven years. And then I started teaching people how to speak from stage. How do you uh, sell from stage? How do you have that posture? You know, what does that look like? It's very different behind a computer versus being in front of a room of 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, and get them to, to stand up and run to the back of the room and take out their credit cards and sign things. I mean, this is very different. And so um, I learned the art of how to persuade. I learned the art of copywriting. I learned the art of direct response marketing. And it really is the number one skill set that every entrepreneur, I think, on the planet should know, no matter if you're an agency, no matter if you know a dog walker, it doesn't matter. Learning the art, the science of copywriting and direct response marketing is really the key. That's what I learned. And I, got, I learned it on, on it in a level that um, it was a live and die situation, right? If, I, if we didn't hit 12% when I was in seminar space, we didn't hit 12%. We really didn't eat. I mean, we barely made hundred bucks that, that week. I mean, not kidding. A hundred bucks. You can't really do anything a hundred bucks when you're traveling. That goes in a day. So we didn't, we didn't uh, make that much money. Now, if we sold 20 and 25%, 30% of the room, now we're banking, right? We're all making money. The speaker's making money. Back of the room, people are making money. And I learned quickly that in the seminar business, this is, this is a misperception. In the seminar business, they think the speaker does all the work. That's not true. Now the speaker is a huge piece, but the environment, right? The space of the room, where things are laid out, the lighting, the, the, the temperature, how the people in the back of the room, what's their energy like? It all plays out because people are constantly looking. They're feeling the energy. They're feeling the temperature. They're feeling what's going on. And they make decisions based on emotions, not based on facts. Right? So people always buy where they feel the most comfortable. People buy when there's clarity. People buy when they know what they feel they're getting is going to take them to a new direction. At the end of the day, the number one feeling people purchase on any level, down to politics, down to any event, seminar, book, is potential of freedom. We're constantly selling freedom. Freedom from feeling of lack. Freedom feeling of... Um, not good enough, feeling freedom of losing weight, freedom of all these different things. And so inside of your business, whatever that is, I highly suggest that you take on learning the art and science of direct response copy. You learn the art and science of copywriting. It really is a science. It's an, it's an art science because there's an ability to what I call create, but it really is a science. And at the end of the day, the reason that is, is because human beings haven't changed. We haven't changed how we buy in thousands of years. Pick up the Bible at any time and it's stories of human being and stories of emotions and stories of things. Now the, the, the mechanics have changed, obviously, right? And the, mechanic is, have we, the mechanics have changed of how we buy. Um, we have ClickBank now, right? Or we purchase through ClickFunnels. Or nowadays we have an iPad and an iPod and all these different things we can purchase through different mechanically. But the emotions of why we pull out our credit card or our PayPal address or whatever it is, the why the emotions have not altered. And after slipping my, I got slipping, I call lugging around my huge suitcase literally for seven years, 
every week, 50 weeks, I would get two weeks off, 50 weeks of, out of the year, I learned that one, people love interaction. I think nowadays seminars are underutilized. Um, people really want that connection. We want to connect with people way more than you think. I think they're underutilized. The, the other thing that I think that I learned from that is people want a new future for themselves. You can't really understand that until you take someone's credit card and you swipe it for $20,000. And you look at them and they, they were, uh, remember this one guy, he was a, an ex-Navy. And he did $20,000 in seminars for the potential of being able to buy and sell houses and make a difference for his family and possibly put his kid through college. That's when you realize people will do anything for a new future and people will do anything for a potential of a new freedom for themselves. Um, and if you understand that in business and in life, in your relationships, it'll make a huge difference. So, um, hi, Kara. Hi, Dush. I gotta call you Dush. Hey, Dush. You know who I am. Hey, Karen. Hey, hey Lee. Hope you guys are well. Um, I, so I just wanted to spend that time, you know, like, from, like I said, 2001 for seven years. Um got a lot of miles, <laughs> a lot of Hilton miles, a lot of Delta miles. I, I used to meet most of my friends in the Delta Crown Room. Um, I would walk into the Delta Crown Room in Atlanta and I would see three people that I know. The seminar business is kind of small. At least it was back then. So just wanted to share today. Hope you guys have a great day. And um, welcome to Ask Me Questions about the event business, the seminar business. I think, honestly, if you are have a potential to do that business, it's a great time to do it. I'm actually looking at getting back into it for myself and doing my own events again um, because people, even though we're going high tech, people really want high touch. We really want to touch people. and We really want to connect with people. We don't necessarily really just want to have this huge distance between people. Um, and so anyways, I hope you guys are well. Have an awesome day. Let me know what you think. If you think I sucked, that's fine. Just put it at the bottom. All right. Bye, guys.